All right guys, today we're gonna to be talking about something that I've made videos in the past about, but seemingly never really gets through. So I always hope and always make videos in the hopes that I can truly promote this, not because I'm sponsored, but I truly think that this is the best field sharpener that money can buy. And this is, in my opinion, one of the best survival knife sharpeners that you're probably missing out on in life. And this is, in case for those wondering or looking for the TLDR, this is the Spyderco Double Stuff. Now I hate its name because it's a really Really dumb name but it is actually a very cool sharpener because it's one of the only pocket builder you know kind of meant for pocket sharpening knife or knife sharpeners that is a dual ceramic or that offers a very small size form and is once again a piece of ceramic so before people get into it a lot I get a lot of comments asking or usually people saying like I use the you know um the Falkneven DC4, and the Falkneven DC4 is not a bad option, but the DC stands for diamond ceramic, and whenever you have a diamond field sharpener, the issue is that diamond is Diamond is an applied um, finish to a piece of steel. So at the core, you have a, you know, like low carbon or sorry, like a carbon, yeah, kind of like low carbon kind of steel base that has a applied um, diamond finish to it. And what that means in the long run is that the more you use that diamond side of your sharpener, the more that diamond coating comes off, of course, and the less effective your sharpener gets over the course of time. This I've had for over 10 years and it still continues to absolutely work perfectly fine just like the day I bought it now if you do get it dirty like this is supposed to be white as you guys can see here it's pretty gray um, so this does need to be just cleaned out but aside from that this is still a completely usable completely fine knife sharpener and it is something that is reasonably cheap these spider coat double stuffs are not that bad they're not that expensive because no one really knows about them and my favorite part about them is the kind of trifecta that this creates so essentially what you have at the core is this coarse um, ceramic this kind of gray ceramic is your coarse side then of course you have your fine ceramic which is this white side and then lastly you can I don't necessarily have it set up like this because I have an actual like uh, pocket strop from a company that is no longer in business but used to be called quite literally pocket strop so I actually have a pocket strop that I usually tie in with this but um, you can put stropping compound on the leather sheath for this and use the leather sheath as a strop because of course with this guy in here there's plenty of stiffness and you can strop your knives and so the cool thing is whether you're talking about you know a you know clipper will say you know you can use this to strop quite easily whether you're talking about something like a little um, victorinox very easy to do right super easy great size and you know we can even step it up a little bit bigger something like the master hunter it's again super easy the size of ceramic is pretty perfectly sized for most knives. Now, once again, if you truly step up to big survival knives, you're going to have a little bit of an issue. This is not gonna be the easiest field sharpener to use, but realistically, anything that's a field sharpener, you know, something that's like a six inch blade is not going to be the easiest to use. So something like this Pathfinder by Mora is going to be a little bit harder to field sharpen. But the cool thing is because it's just a ceramic, you know, bit, given enough time, you can technically sharpen it. It's not gonna be easy it's not going to be fun. It's going to take you more time to you know, sharpen some bigger knife like the Pathfinder or something like a you know six plus inch blade. Um, but this still will work. And I would say if you are ultimately looking to sharpen a six plus inch blade, what you'll probably want to do is instead of so typically how I sharpen a knife is I'll hold it like this and then you know like you bring your knife across like such like so, I should kind of try to show like this. So you bring the knife across like this um, with a larger knife. What I would typically do is take this and hold it kind of like a sharpening puck and then you're just going to work down it like that. So you're wanting to try to hold a consistent angle. And of course, a field sharpener isn't gonna be a super consistent angle, but you are going to probably impress yourself with some practice here. I'd recommend, you know, starting on cheaper knives and, you know, work your way up so you get a good idea of how to hold an angle, how to, you know, really work it like a puck when you need to. Um, but you can get some really impressive edges and because it's ceramic, it works a lot faster and of course is a kind of lifetime product as opposed to a diamond coated piece of steel where the diamond finish will flake off and no longer really work. 
So this is going to work forever and uh, realistically is going to be a really solid option. So <clears throat> this is the Spyderco Double Stuff. It is a really great field sharpener. A lot of people don't know about it. And once again, I don't think like Spyderco really never promoted it. You guys see a lot of WorkSharp stuff out there because WorkSharp really tries to hammer out their product and you know, get it out there. And don't get me wrong, um, I don't think WorkSharp makes like bad products. Their field sharpeners are good too. It's just when you look at the Double Stuff, the Double Stuff's you know, $20, $30, whereas a work sharp is, you know, 30, 40, 50 bucks. And so, you know, these double stuffs are um, either as expensive or slightly cheaper. And the nice thing about the double stuff over the work sharp is once again, the work sharp is for the most part, there are some aspects of it that are uh, ceramic, but for the most part, it's a diamond coated piece of steel. So you're going to eventually wear through it. And so it does work well. It does have the little like guide that you can kind of, you know, use to help you but once again with the whole like guide it's just a gimmick because once you understand how to hold the knife at that angle it isn't as complex and of course to be fair any type of hand base where you're you know running the knife across or you know bring it to and from um, on a piece of ceramic or diamond is not going to be a perfectly fixed angle like that's why we have things like the wicked sharp the edge pro apex um, and others that are you know like consistent angle sharpeners like they hold they clamp the knife in one place while you bring your sharpener at a consistent angle because it's hard to replicate those things with your hand so it's not going to be perfect none of the systems are perfect but this is a really portable and really good field sharpener and the other thing i like about the double stuff is very typical of spider co it is a no frills thing so the nice part about this is it is ridiculously thin like if you guys ever hold or encounter a work sharp you know pocket pal or um <clears throat> whatever they call their like pocket sharpeners. Um, they are much thicker. Once again, those guides, the plastic kind of angle guides add a lot to the thickness of the overall um, sharpener. This is literally just two pieces of ceramic epoxy together. So there's no guides, there's nothing fancy. And this thing is ridiculously thin. Like to give it some example, this is the thickness of the Master Hunter and this is the thickness of the sharpener, right? They're not that actually far apart. So um, yeah, this is a ridiculously thin sharpener. And of course it has a little bit of bulk being in its leather sheath, but really not that much bulk. So yeah, pretty crazy. I think it's a really good value and I think it's a really great um, sharpening system for the field and it once again isn't going to wear out ceramic it's going to be tough so it's a really really solid choice anyways guys hopefully you enjoyed the video as always god bless